Voters head to the polls today to vote in new leadership, including a new mayor in Rapid City. Thanks for joining us. I'm Alicia Garcia. And I'm Phil Aldridge. After former mayor or current mayor Steve Allender decided not to run for another term, five candidates got into the race. Laura Armstrong, Brad Estes, Josh Lyle, Jason Solomon, and Ron Weifenbach. The polls closed at 7 o'clock tonight. Let's take a look at the results. With all of the precincts now reporting just moments ago, Jason Solomon has the most votes. He will become Rapid City's new mayor. He has 4,888 votes to Laura Armstrong's 4,619 votes. Ron Weifenbach received just shy of 3,000 votes, 2,999. Brad Estes, 2,769. Josh Lyle came in with 1% of the vote at 150. Those are all precincts reporting, and because Rapid City elections operate on a plurality, the candidate with the most votes is the winner. There's, there'll be no other election. Votes are still coming in across from Rapid City. Well, they've just ended right now, but our Umberto Gila Sanchez is live at the Pennington County Building with the latest. Umberto? Thank you, Phil. The night here at the Pennington County Administration Building has now come to an end with, again, the results that uh, Phil and Alicia said with Jason Solomon uh, coming out uh, victorious tonight uh, with a good margin, with a margin of around 31.6%. Uh, uh, Laura Armstrong coming in second with uh, about 29.9%. Uh, uh, some statistics here for, t uh, for today. Today, uh, we have uh, registered voters, 63,675 uh, total voters that came out to vote today, uh, with uh, ballots casted uh, totaling uh, 15,686. Um, and voter total voter turnout for this year is uh, approximately 24.6%. Uh, this year's voter turnout was significant or uh, bigger than 2019 um, versus Steve Allender and Natalie. Uh, so, reporting here at the Pennington County Administration Building, I'm Humberto Giles Sanchez, sending it back to you guys at the desk. Okay, thanks, Humberto. So, the Rapid City Mayor has been decided, but there are several other races for seats in the city government still to be decided. Three contested city council elections in Rapid City. Let's take a look at those results. In Ward 1, Josh Bieberdorf beat the incumbent, Pat Jones. Josh receives 48% of the vote. Pat Jones receiving 37% and Jerry Long receiving 14%. And Ward 3, Kevin Maher receives 47% of the vote to be declared the winner in that race, beating Chad Lewis with 33% and Rob Kegron with 20%. And John Roberts, the incumbent, he was looking for another term in Ward 4, and he will be going back in Ward 4. He beat Valeria Big Eagle, 58% to 42%. And there are a pair of school board seats up for grabs tonight. Four people competing for a spot on the Rapid City School Board in Area 4. Walter Swan Jr. just edges it out, 31% to 30% to get onto the school board. And it's Christine Stevenson and Paul Lloyd in the race for Area 5 for school board. Christine Stevenson beating Paul Lloyd with 61% of the vote. 